Hi there, are you ready to live your Hokage dream but want to do so on controller? Today we're going to break down my controller guide setup for Ninja. This one can seem a little tricky since it has some really quick button pressing for certain parts but this has been my tried and true controller setup for a very long time now. With this video I've completed all my controller guide setups which you can find in the description box down below under the playlist controller. Let's jump into it. Right trigger one is our single target GCD spinning slash, gut slash, aeolian edge as well as armor crush. Aeolian Edge and Armor Crush are essentially the third GCD tier combo where Aeolian does more damage, but Armor extends our damage buff, so you'll have to use this every so often. Right Trigger 1 D-pad is the very dreaded Mudras, which a lot of people have said to me that they are just not the biggest fan of these on controller or just don't know where to place them. I have always had them here on my D-pad, it just seems to work for me. We have Ten, Jin, Nijutsu, and Chi. These are laid out very specifically to this order for rotation reasons with ninjutsu at the top, to which I'll go over in maybe a ninja 1 to 90 guide. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. Right trigger two letters is Kasatsu, Mug, Bushin, and Trick Attack. These are actually again perfectly laid out to match the opener for ninja, which is in the balance discord, but I used to main ninja before black mage and been using the same layout ever since with just a few minor changes that they'd made to ninja over the patches. Right trigger 2 d-pad is Huranjin, Dream Within a Dream, Throwing Dagger, and Arm's Length. Left trigger 1 is our Kosar AoE and also a single target, Death Blossom, and Hake. We also have our two gauge spenders of Bava Kakra and Hellfrog Medium, a part of our AoE and single target rotation. Left trigger 1 d-pad is Ten Shi Jin, Fleeting Raiju, Mei Sui, and Forked Raiju. These are our few abilities that are in our openers that we don't really have room for, so we put all the way over here on the left trigger. These are a part of our GCDs for our later rotation, so there's not much weaving that's happening between right trigger and left trigger when you're in these abilities. Left trigger two letters is our gap closer, Shikuchi, which always gives me a little giggle, <laughs> Hide, Second Wind, and Shade Shift, which is just a nice little shield for our ninja if we step into an AoE. Left trigger 2 d-pad is our few roll abilities, Leg Sweep, Bloodbath, True North, and Limit Break. I have been using the same layout for a long time and honestly it's just muscle memory and practice. This is honestly one of the better melee jobs on controller in my personal opinion where it's really laid out perfectly between top and bottom right trigger. I really like the flow of this and it's probably on par with like Black Mage. I hope this helps with some sort of ninja foundation that you can later move around to what fits your needs and if you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials or all of my other controller guide layouts then you can click here.